now a looming deadline that could make a difference in the close races we told you about at the top of the newscast. People who voted with a provisional ballot have until 5 o'clock, that's less than an hour now, to make sure their vote is counted. News 6 investigator Lewis Bolden is live at the Orange County Supervisor of Elections Office. Lewis, what can you tell us? Well, Julie, there are 345 provisional ballots here in Orange County. The supervisor of elections tells me that all of those people were given information sheets at the polls. And if they need to submit additional information, they have until 5 o'clock to do it. In Orange County, the canvassing process is slow and steady. The board verifying the results of ballots cast in 247 precincts across the county to be sent to the state by noon Saturday. We have to go through and verify uh, any ballots that were unscannable that get added on, uh, that could change results. And in a number of close races, victory or defeat could be on the line, which is why representatives from campaigns with close margins are standing by. The board will also have to make decisions on the county's 345 provisional ballots, which could make a difference. Making a decision on their, whether they're accepted or rejected, uh, if they're accepted, they go out and get open and then run through the tabulating system. Counties across the state are doing the same thing. And the race for U.S. Senate is expected to be one of those races headed for a recount. While Governor Rick Scott gave a victory speech on election night, his lead over Senator Bill Nelson has dwindled significantly as votes continue to be counted. But Cowles wants to make it clear that is still days away. There is no recounting going on here today. Recount will be announced once we know how many and which contests we have to recount. We have not heard from Senator Bill Nelson since the day before Election Day. He hasn't made any public appearances or public comments. But today his attorney had plenty to say. And I'll tell you all about that coming up at 5 o'clock. Back to you in the studio. Lewis, thank you. Lewis Bolden reporting live tonight.